you guys, Tom Schwartz is here. Whoa. Schwartzy. Hi. Do people still call you that? Yeah. Schwartzy? I love when people call me Schwartzy. It reminds me of LVP. And no one says it like her. It's just like, Schwartzy. Oh, like how, how she says it. Schwartzy. Schwartzy. Nice. I want to show everybody the hat. It used to be maybe, maybe slightly controversial to rock a Schwartz and Sandy and now, style. But I feel, yeah. yeah. For little me. Wait, I got you another present. What? Yeah. Is it a friendship bracelet? J'aime Moriel. Is Jim Toronto. No, you didn't get it for me. I did. You're a fucking liar. I did. I really did. Stop. Yeah, I got Lori one too, and I knew I was coming to do your podcast. Stop. And I got an extra one. Oh. See? That's it. You bought my love. Oh. You okay? Are we good? This is so cute. Look at me rocking. By the way, oh, and we match. Yeah. I'm, I would I would wear I'm gonna wear it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm very sentimental these days as I get older. I'm nostalgic, sentimental. Thank you. Yeah, well, I think you also like are in a point in your life you've been through so much and you kind of have seen who stuck around, who turned. Yeah. I uh yeah, I got my ass kicked the past few years. Yeah. Life comes at you quick. I think I just had it like too good almost before. From like after we got married. It was such a cushy phase of my life from like 2016 to 2020-ish. Yeah. So cozy and happy-go-lucky. A lot of levity. Love levity. Shout out to levity. Yeah. Um, Sorry. But I, I, I don't know. Then it kind of all came crashing down. And I don't know. The divorce. My family fell apart. My dad. My brother. Uh, the bar almost broke me. My God. But you know what's cute? It seems like when we watched you on the show yeah. in businesses, it always seemed like Sandoval cared more. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, I can see from the edit. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. But like, I just want to tell people, you walked in the studio, you were like picking up chairs, trying to see where everything's <laughs> from, touching, banging on walls. So it seems like you're really into it. So yeah. it almost feels like, tell me if like this is a wrong assumption, like maybe when the Scandoval thing happened, you had to take more responsibility. Like it did like good. Yeah, I did. I, I, um, I mean, <laughs> we were tasked with the unfortunate task of kind of cleaning up the mess, the post, you know, what of all. Yeah, we don't say that word anymore. I mean, because it, it's, so it's 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 not it's like right. It's people have you know what of all fatigue. Yeah, and it's I like, have fatigue. It's like when I hear that word, it like rots my mind. It goes like I go like I go like this. I get the thousand yard stare. You can't say it anymore. I can't. The thing that happened. I could say it one last time. Okay. Do you want me to? Well, Scandoval, I'll say <laughs> oh, God, it. God, don't out. say it again. It's out. It's out. I mean, but there is some fatigue. Yeah. So when yeah. you had to deal with all that, yeah. you had to step it up. Yeah, I did. And um, it was intense. I mean, the bar business is tough enough as it is. Opening a bar coming out of the pandemic, you know, our sophomore project. And it's just, it was, it's just, man, it's so many things went wrong, but we persevered. And I feel like I'm a stronger, better person because of it. I think it really forced me to mature. Financing a bar is because Tom, Tom, you don't consider like because you were like, how many percent do you guys have? We have five percent, I mean, and it is it, it That's is not a lot of percent. It's not. We're minority stakeholders, but I gotta say, we put our whole hearts in there, and I freaking am so proud to be. But it was like easier yeah. because you were like the face, and yeah. not the ba the back end as much. I'm not wealthy. But like, you know, we to the tune of almost seven figures, we we financed that ourselves. So what? The Schwartz the, and Sam? Yeah. Um, so are you guys 50-50 or the um, other guy has some? Um, no, we're not 50-50, but close. Close to that. Pretty much split three ways, more or less. With the, what's his name? The, Greg. The Greg dude. Morris, our partner. Does Shout he out to like Greg. you guys? Yes, okay. he does. Although we- Yeah, you can't always tell. Sometimes we drive him crazy. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, like our, <laughs> in the beginning, you know, um, we butted heads a little bit. It was a little tumultuous. But yeah. um, I feel like we're all getting along swimmingly now. Yeah. We honestly, the, the vibe has been so good lately. And we just had like our first DJ. We got a new sound system. Sorry if this is boring. I want to plug Schwartz and Sandy's because I'm freaking proud of it. We're revamping the menu, new drinks. Are there, san wait, are there sandwiches? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> because like, I feel like, okay, for fans, they know it's Schwartz and Sandy's. Yeah, yeah. But like, I would think maybe there's like a sandwich. Um, Schwartz and Sammy's? Yo. <laughs> right? Well, people say Sandy's for sandwiches. They don't. Unfortunately, I don't think there'll be a collaboration with something about her anytime <laughs> oh, right. soon. You can't have sandwiches. <laughs> um, yeah. but no sandwiches for you. If there was to be a sandwich, I think, um, have you ever had a muffaletta? Oh. Oh, I didn't. Forget about it. It's good. Oh, Wait, my so God. it's doing well. The bar people are coming. It's, yeah, it's bouncing back. 
it feels so good to say that because I just I I I, I got so much of my uh, emotions and identity tied up in that place. Yeah, it sort of just consumed my entire life in every way, shape, and form. So, I mean, do you think that's why it's a big reason of why you and Katie split? It definitely contributed to the demise, but I cannot. You can't blame it on. I that. cannot scapegoat the bar on our marriage, you know. Um, but because guess, if not that, your marriage wouldn't have survived this scandal. <sighs> like <laughs> that wouldn't have. Not you, then. I'm trying not to dwell on negative hypotheticals because I have a bad <laughs> habit of doing that. Wait, but I do that. <laughs> I do that for a living. Because I was thinking I it. I was thinking it though. I was like, if. Schwartz and Sandy's didn't happen. Would you have stayed together? And then my step two of rationalizing was if it was rocky, yeah, it wouldn't have survived the vol. I have put some thought and I've reflected on this. If, if it wasn't for the bar, do you th would I still be with Katie? Yeah. I don't know. I will say this. And if it wasn't for, yeah, say that. Say what well, you're going to say. I think. I, I love our dynamic right now, me and Katie, because it got, it, you know, we cut, we pretty much cut each other. She cut me out of her life after, you know, the incident with you know who. Yeah. Um, and 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 it was strained, and I, but I missed that. I missed our friendship, and I feel like we're in a good place. I don't see her a lot, but I still love the shit out of her, and I'm always rooting for her. And like when I drop the dogs off, we just, you know, we send each other memes and stuff, and it feels good to to have our rapport back a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Because I still love her so much. Um, and uh, anyways, I'm proud of her. If she wouldn't have ended it, would you have, you think, ever? It was ending. It was the right like decision. Like either but with or without you, or do you think, would you ever have the balls? Because it is. At the end of the day, like anyone that breaks up a longstanding relationship, it's gutsy. Like I look at people and I'm like, I'm less sad for people. I'm happy for them because I know how hard it must be. And if you did that, then you must be like sure about it. Totally. And I, I, I'm, by the way, huge advocate proponent <laughs> of divorce and separation as opposed to staying in a toxic world. It was never toxic. It just kind of, oh, I don't know if I want to get into this. Katie, sorry. Um, well, I love Katie. I try not to dwell on the past right now. You know, I'm trying to look forward, but like, you know, I think, I think, um, you know, it just kind of fizzled out a little bit. Yeah. You know? But my question is towards like, yeah. cause she did it. At yes. the end of the day, she picked up the bandaid or- With class. With class. And she was very deliberate. She sat me down respectfully and told me, like, I, I don't, this isn't working. And you didn't fight for it. Um, I just felt it was, it was the right decision. Um, and also broke. you, but that, that's my question. Do you think you would have been able to do it? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. It's scary. It is. When's the, have you ever broken up with someone a long I don't time? know, but that's, I always think about it when people <laughs> break up. Like, you really need to have, first of all, you're hurting the other person. Yes. Second of all, you're, you guys were together. 13 years. So many years. I mean, we survived 10 years of reality TV. That's. I remember when it was coming out, I didn't believe the rumors. And I texted Katie like, this isn't true, right? And she was like, no, it is true. Yeah. Like, I, I almost didn't. Not that it seemed the healthiest or the best, but it's yeah. just like you see two people. They're. They know each other so well. Yeah. They've been together for so many years. Yeah. I mean, and like, here you are starting anew. Yeah. It's, um, it was a doozy coming out of that relationship, but I feel like we're both in a good place now. Good. And, um, yeah, I have nothing but fond memories when I, when I close my eyes and think about our relationship. But if I was watching this show as, as a viewer. You would hate you? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, that guy is a douche. Wait, because you, I mean. But he's a love, lovable douche. No, you are. Thank you. But how did, so that is like a thing with you. Yeah. You get away with shit. I mean. <sighs> you got away with, you're kind of like, oh my God, you guys, I have it. You want to know who you're like? <laughs> oh God, I'm scared. No, don't that. be. <laughs> Scott Disick. Scott Disick? You want to know why? He's funny. Yeah. So I, it's a compliment. I like him. Scott Disick fucked up with Courtney so much. Yeah. You, did you ever watch the show? I know of so it. You know I know it. just enough to get the reference. Yeah. But like, we didn't turn on him. Yeah. However, like Tristan yeah. fucked up on Chloe. That was crazy. We turned, you know? And still to this day, it's like, oh, Scott and Courtney, Scott and Courtney. And it's like, we remember, we saw on the show him fucking up, but we were like, it's Scott, you know? And you did get the the the, you know, the benefit of the doubt of it's Schwartz. He was drunk. He was blackout. He didn't know. He went. He came back. You got that for many years. I did. Honestly, thank you. <laughs> thank you for not losing faith in me. But like, I think back sometimes. I'm just like, my God. Like, not like I've, not like, um, you know, 
I'm not on a moral high horse or anything. I still have my faults and I'm still evolving and growing. But I look back and I'm like, my God, I was so sloppy back in the day. Yeah. I mean, I would get annihilated. Sloppy. You don't I can never like get that, that way again. I mean, I still like to go out and have a good time. I'll get drunky once in a while. Yeah. Do you want to? Well, you're pregnant. You yeah. can't get drunk. Congratulations. Thank you for forgetting, though. Sorry. <laughs> so nice. Um, yeah. yeah, but I, I, I'm I, trying to be healthier all around. It's just no, being... you. First of all, I said this off camera a bunch. So this is the last time you're going to get compliments. But like, you look so good. Thank you. You're with the unsweetened green tea. <laughs> I mean, that order is like very healthy. Thank you. Like I've, you're, you're, you're in a better place. You can tell. My like body is a temple right now. Yeah. I mean. But you can tell that you're treating it better. Thank you. I yeah. feel better. Yeah. Do I look a little, just, I got a little, I got more levity. No, you, well, you love levity. I love levity. Yeah. The hair is still like. Eh. Did you like the blonde era? I wasn't like hating it as much yeah. as everybody else. Yeah. Why did everybody hate it so much? <sighs> I was like 90% hate. <laughs> 10% love. No, it was 90% hate. And like so many people did it. it was, and then you got like ripped. It was a preventative measure. It was a preventative midlife crisis measure. Yeah. And um, it worked. I feel like it But was, it wasn't for a long time. No. Well, we see it on we'll see it on the show. Yeah. We'll see it on this season. Yeah. Um, so good news is that your brother is doing well because we know that that was um and it's wild that you have triplet. I mean, we just like pass over this. You have yeah. triplet brothers. I do. Like, but, like naturally, your yeah. mother gave birth to triplets. She had. It can she, happen to anyone. It could happen to you. That's wild. How many are in there right now? Thank God. Like, when I saw one sack, my sister had twins, so I'm aware that things can happen. Yeah. And it's wild. Because people always think it must be IVF. It must be. Um, it was natural. But it was just, she literally went, that is a. Lifelong <laughs> sentence. <laughs> She's so small too, my mom. Really? She weighs like a hundred hundred pounds wet. And she had my sister, then me, and then she, then they're like my my mom and my dad are like, let's have one more kid. And then no. she pops out triplets. Wow. How would you could you cope? No. What would you do? No, no, no. I, I don't want to say what I would no, do. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. I don't want to say what I would do. <laughs> but it's no, that is, I mean, you're I might listen, you guys, when your body's making a baby. You cannot feel it. Like your blood is, I think, 80% more or something. Your heart beats a gazillion, everything. So triplets, like how does your body sustain that? Like Unbelievable. the wear and tear. I mean, I have so much respect for her. And, and then what what happens to you when the triplets are born? Are you like I was like a, a surrogate caretaker kind of. Really? You know? Yeah. How old were you? I was three when my mom had that. Oh wow. Yeah, I was three. Shout out to the triplets if they ever see this. That's, it's wild. Yeah, I love those little. Yeah, I are you a good big bro? I am a good big bro. Yeah, loving, caring. I try to guide them as much as I need some guidance too. I need a life coach. Can you be my life coach, Amanda? Yeah, I'm pretty good at this it. This feels kind of therapeutic. Really? Actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm vibing. Good. Um, it's so nice. To, can I just shout out to New York City, my favorite city in the world? I mean, you are like rocking. Well, you did buy a. You did buy an I Love New York beanie. Yeah, so you really commit. Yeah. Schwartz goes to visit a place and then he like <laughs> loves it so much. I love being in tourist mode. Wait, but do you love LA that much that you've like stayed so many years? And we kind of asked you before if you see yourself moving and you said no. How do you feel about LA? Well, I'm here, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know if I would move. I, 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 I talk trash about it, but I do love it. The only time I go to a dark place is with LA and I'm hypercritical. Um, is when I'm in mind-numbing, soul-sucking traffic. And you have mm. to make peace with it. Yeah. You know, I try to be stoic. Yeah. Listen to podcasts and stuff. But, like, um, other than that, yeah, I love L.A. It's everything I hope for and more. Really? Yeah, it's a land of opportunity, the city of angels. It's oh like. Oh, my God, stop. Right. Is that that's You're so, being, like, too positive. Well, yeah, well, I got to cool it. <laughs> yeah. Calm down. I got to cool it on the positivity. Wait, and you move from that big house, so <sighs> gorgeous and nice. Not that your apartment doesn't look. <laughs> it does, but it's like it's a big change. Can we talk about my apartment? Like it I was I mean the plans good for you. Thank you. The plants? Yeah, they're the very plans therapeutic. Good for you. Somebody, I mean you're it's a thing now because I literally posted a plant. By the way, have you heard of Easy Plant? I mean not that they deserve a free plug cuz they didn't even send me this plant, but it's a good easy plant to take care of you guys by the way. And I no, not here. I don't live here. This is a studio. <laughs> I want to live here. I touched, I caressed no, everything. He I've is on shrooms. I'm not on ecstasy. He's not. Also, did pre-med. 
I was. Is that how you say it? You did pre-med. I did, and I graduated, but, like, you know, there's no pre-med at Florida State University, so you pick one of the sciences, you know, biology, exercise, physiology. So, but did you think you were going to be a doctor? I, my heart was never in it. I was like, I was, I was like, I would rather play a doctor on TV. Oh, so you wanted to do TV. Yeah, I wanted to. I, my dream was to be on a procedural, like CSI Miami type of vibe. I never wanted to be, like, a movie star. Really? No desire to be famous. You just wanted, like, famous. the day job of it. Yes. Really? Middle class Hollywood, maybe make a million a year. <laughs> You know, That's so specific. Um, yeah. But how are you pursuing that dream? <sighs> Honestly, I'm not a great actor. You got. I, I wish I had a monologue prepared for you or something. Um, not, so, so I, you you feel like you didn't succeed at it because you weren't good? I'm an okay actor. Like I booked commercials. I booked a lot of commercial print stuff. Like you know, you didn't see my Coles. No, you did. You did modeling and you, stuff. You didn't see my Modelo commercial. Wait, you're great. <laughs> What year is that from? Um, probably like 2014. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I saw your Madame Web mm. collab. Wasn't that a great Well, here's concept. the thing. Let's rewind. I was shitting on Madame Web, as is the entire internet. Do you know how much it got on Rotten Tomatoes? No. 13. But I haven't seen it yet. It got 13%. I love the cast. I and then, I mean, yeah, you love the cast. It's okay. Yeah. Wow. You love Dakota Johnson. <laughs> Yeah. I love the guys as if it's like some underground like <laughs> theater actors, Dakota Johnson and Sydney Sweeney. Wait, but I mean, you it, did the I did it. It was you, awesome. Did you guys, like well it just is funny after the whole internet is shitting on the movie yeah. to find out that like the commercial you guys did for it was very scandavali. It it, it 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 was kind of cheeky. It vaguely alluded yeah. to it at the end. Right. If you remember. But um, that was one of my favorite gigs ever. Thank it you. It is guys. a very cool gig. It was so fun. The whole crew was so awesome. Um, being on set, it, it kind of resurrected my love for acting. Really? Not saying I'm a good actor. Like, but I, I, I don't know. I could be a version of myself. I couldn't be a character actor. How did it feel for you to be a model? Um, were you honestly, like modeling? Have you done print work? No. Well, you do photo shoots and well, stuff. Well, I do photo shoots now. I love it. Just put a fan on me and I get into it. I like, well, listen, I joke around. Like, one of my, the reasons I moved to LA was to get, like, waking up early in the morning. First of all, I'm a morning person. Mm. Not obnoxiously. Oh, something we didn't know. Love the morning. Like what hour? I love waking you up say at like, like 9.30. 5, 6 a.m. Shut the fuck up. I like waking up early. I love being on set, getting my makeup done. Wait, usually you wake up 5.30, 6 a.m.? The dogs wake I'm the dog's bitch. Gordo and Butters. What? They wake you Gordo up Gordo does early? at 6 usually every day. Yeah. No. And um, I yeah. get, But like- I You love, do a full walk? Yeah. At 6 a.m.? Yeah. Um, But anyways, I love being on set. Like having your picture taken, eating delicious food. I, I know. It's not hard. It's the dream. By the way, if you're out there and you're thinking about taking a shot at, you know, acting. You can maybe do it. Here comes the positivity again. I got I know. I don't know. You want to do the career that like 3% of the people, <laughs> 1% probably. Yeah. You're so, no, you're too positive. I got to chill. What is happening? It's. But you were doing modeling stuff. Yeah. But you're also like, what people forget is that you're a smart dude. <sighs> We use that term loosely. No, I don't think so. I mean, you also have a very big vocabulary. Big words don't make you smart, but I do. But how do you learn them then? You love me some words. Um, I, I used to have a little notebook and I would just write down words and memorize them when I was young. It was massive. I lost it when I moved to LA. I lost it, but um, I always had uh, a, a great appreciation for. Do you wordle? No, we but wordle? I noticed, like Katie, I remember was using some words too. Yeah, I love a good big word. Yeah, would you guys just like play? <laughs> that was the least eloquent thing I've ever said, <laughs> you like, ironically. You guys would just literally play, like, just use big words. Can you want to drop a big, what's your favorite big well, word? Well, no, I, I won't forget when Katie used magnanimous. That's a great but one. But it was wrong, and I called her out on it. Whoa. Because she called, like, a wedding venue you guys went to look at magnanimous. Yeah. And I think it wasn't used correctly. I like the word um, uh, schadenfreude. Do you know that one? Is that in German? It's like taking pleasure in other people's what, misfortune. Say it again? Schadenfreude. Yeah, it's German. Oh. It's like you can't you just say another language word. <laughs> no, Wait, I mean, is it in English? It's it's been adopted by oh. the, yeah, it's kind of colloquial. Wait, say it again? Colloquial. I can't say colloquially. Colloquial. Colloquial. Oh. Losing it. Oh wow. Um, but Schadenfreude, it's like you you're outside, you know, you say you're on uh say you're on Broadway and you see someone rollerblading, they hit a stick, they fall. You laugh, you're like <laughs> You know, yeah. I don't know, taking a little pleasure in someone wow. else's misery. I feel like there's a reason you think of that word. <laughs> it just popped in my head. It just popped in your um, head. There's, there's a lot of schadenfreude on, for the viewers on Vanderpump Rules. Oh, you're, you're talking about the viewers. Yeah. Like, not the cast. Yeah. 
yeah, the viewers. It was wild to me, though, on this one of the last episodes that Sandoval said, and I want to know if you agree with it, which it was a really, I mean, shocking thing to me to hear, that he said to Sheena, I think, that Ariana was the least vindictive of everybody after the scandal happened. Did he say that? He said that. I don't, I've seen all the episodes. I don't remember him saying that, but he, I mean... That, he literally did say that. I mean, yeah. I mean, she she kind of... was. She was fairly tight-lipped, and she just yeah. refocused him in the ultimate glow-up. She's, like, on a whole different yeah. level now. She's yeah, crushing a Broadway, level. dancing with the stars. Yeah. And I think she did a pretty dang good job of navigating a very twisted, yeah. bizarre situation that she had kind of had to go through in front of the whole world. Does she still hate you? I don't know if hate is a strong word, but I don't <laughs> she, think she... Okay, she... In these episodes, <laughs> she... To, to me, to a viewer, it looks like she hates you almost as much as she hates him. I don't take it personally, but, but yes. Yeah, but... um, It hasn't gotten better? I don't think she's Team Schwartzy, but, like, we're cool. It doesn't feel uncomfortable when I see you her. You weren't cool on the show no. at this point. No. So you're cooler now. Yeah. She would say hello. I slowly have been trying to charm my way back into her. I know. It's not it wasn't working on the show. It's though. not working. It wasn't landing. <laughs> it no, wasn't I give landing. her plenty of res space yeah. respectfully. But, but why does she hate you so much? I think it has because she thinks I was like an active uh uh conspirator, co-conspirator, I think. Do you feel like you were one no, though? No, I just I was so consumed in my own world. Yeah. It became this like worldwide sensation and it's like oh my god it like completely overshadowed my whole life and i kind of had my identity stripped away i feel like not to cry like after be a cry baby but like, yeah it was intense yeah it but was... you're saying during like you knew about it but yeah. you weren't like oh my god like consumed by it i just i just like figure your shit out handle it i just i could not be bothered i was do you think that the fact that a lot of the girls think that it was your responsibility to betray your friend yeah blow up his spot basically yeah. without him doing it himself like do you think mm -hmm. that assumption is um makes sense yeah i totally understand that perspective like you, you it understand. just it's just yeah i just like you wouldn't i'm assuming you wouldn't do anything differently no i wouldn't really oh no, no i would i would i probably <laughs> yeah sorry wait no no no, no i would i would, I would i would i would what be would like you do? i would i would have held him more accountable oh, like, maybe I, give I wouldn't give an ultimatum but it's like it went on it just not to talk about that i know everyone's over it but it just went on far too long it was yeah. like egregious I forgot a big word for you oh i love the word egregious no because i'm just because when i was watching it in terms of your taken it yeah i was one of the people that was saying like wait just to be clear we expect his best friend and then everyone was like, well, Ariana was a bridesmaid at his wedding, yeah. a groomsman at his yeah. wedding, and yeah. referenced that moment. Because really, aside from that, like, it's not like we got a deep look into your friendship, yours and yeah. Ariana. So we had that moment that was a cute moment um, at the wedding. But I didn't necessarily agree that you needed to betray a friend. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's just such a twisted situation. Yeah. My brain just shuts down when I talk about it. Ah, I Literally. can tell that. Just like, ugh. But, but babe, this movie. is... But, like, you have to understand. Yeah. We're living in last year. I know. You're not. I know. I know. I, know. I mean, I, make I, the editors go faster. But I it's like... remember that. But we're... Right. But we're living crass. in that. Yeah. So, like, um, that's where we, we're at. Are you, you know? digging the season so far? I... It's a um, slow burn in the beginning, but it's... it's there's, a, there's a lot of funny moments, and it's... Yeah, it's got a lot of heart. Yeah. It's well, listen, intense. Vanderpump is my baby. Like, I'll love yeah. it forever. You know, even the highs, the lows. Yeah. I also Thank don't... You, by the way. ...judge Thank you. anybody. Really. Like, I kind of take it as, like, obviously, I know everybody's real people, and I'm, like, friends with someone. Like, yeah. like I'm, I'm aware. But I'm also watching the show... To be entertained, yeah, and not to like get angry with people that have done nothing to me. And I and I never understood like the, how it people get so fired up, but they have sort of invested ten years with us, and it's like they feel like they kind of know us. But this is my question: Are they fired up only on the internet? Like, have you had a point where someone comes into Schwartz and Sandy's and is like, "Fuck you," or like they always are like, "Can I have a picture?" Because it's that guy. That's you a know? great question. No, honestly, 
there's such a strong sense of like support and community in the bars. People are so positive. So they, no one's been negative in the bar. Constructive criticism and not face to face. People are lovely, but like a, 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 a group think is dangerous. Like the mob mentality online or when people get together, like, you know, in peak, you know what of all, like people were graffitiing the bathrooms, no, like team. I, it got that, scary. We had to close down oh, one night. because People we had, were doing that at your place. Yeah. There was someone called in and made like a vague threat about like, I don't even know if I want to say it, but like shooting the place up or something. I get. Oh we had, my god! It got, it got crazy and like so most for the most part, no, the, those people need to be like locked away. Take a breather, people. It was like mania. People lost their minds. What do you do about Yelp though? Because Yelp, when yeah, they were evil about. I when I saw the Yelp thing, that was another thing where you know, because I kind of not trying to be a devil's advocate, but I just kind of look at things differently sometimes. And I was like, okay, hate him, whatever. This is a business. Like, yeah. you can't do that. Like, the Yelp reviews are supposed to be, I'm sorry that I take this seriously, yeah. about the place. Reviews mean something. They mean something. We're still great on Google, but Yelp, we're destroyed. We went from 4.6 stars to, like, 2.3. Can you do anything about it? We're working on it. Okay. But um, that really hurt, man. I was like, come in, and if, if you genuinely don't have a good time, right. you should have to be geo like geolocated to leave a review. Right, you like. should have, like, a receipt. <laughs> It, no, that's like that's the thing. Verify like Airbnb. Like you can't review the fucking house if you didn't, you know, if I guess you weren't there. Yeah, exactly. And, and and you know, I guess that's that's the double edged sort of throwing your name, being on a being a public right. figure, throwing your name on the side. Yeah. If you fuck up in your personal life, um, you know, they they have a they have a place they can apply pressure. I did have a moment. I'm not gonna be Mister. I told you so. Yeah, and I was like, you know, like you, you have, we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard if we're gonna put our name, plaster our name on the side, you know, like morally. And every why, but if it was called something else, I feel like it would have been really significantly less. Oh, heat. you think the name thing? It was because you're, you're still on the name thing. That that I mean, we we were the faces. He was the face. That was the place. Yeah, like we're kind of it. Just it just man, we had just gotten <laughs> into such a sweet spot. We had finally gotten a rhythm after two. Harrowing years of trying to get that. I know nobody gives a nobody shit. Cares. Nobody cares. I know. Nobody Sorry, cares. guys. But for me, this turned my life yeah. upside down. No, and you seem like part of you feeling better and looking better and everything else has to do with the like the, the business. I need more compliments. I oh my god, no one more, Amanda. More one more for you. Please. Um one you more. said on the show or in an interview that like you and um Tom had to go through like a couples therapy situation. We did. And you're better now. We're in, in a much better place. Um, a lot, most of it stemmed, you know, uh, from professional. Uh, for uh, most of it was because of the bar, the business. Like that you he had, had to say he had jeopardized my half a million dollar investment. Yeah. Like, anybody would be upset in that situation. You know what I mean? Probably you're more upset business, than you. Exactly. Um, I feel like I was fairly easy on him. Honestly. Yeah. But I did take a, a long, much needed break. Um, by the way, was it really that long? Because on the show. People were saying, like, you said the break thing, and then it looks like the next day you're, like, hanging out. <laughs> That's funny. Was it that? Um, I didn't really talk to Tom for almost three months. Uh -huh. Just, like, maybe a nicety. I took a long break from wow. him. Just because, like, my life. You guys, I, I don't want to sound like I'm victimizing myself. Yeah. Um, I'll take radical accountability. I'm yeah. trying to take. But, um, yeah, it really threw a wrench in my life. And yeah. uh, I was very upset with him. But, yeah. man. Uh, I guess I'm a sucker for Tom Sandoval. He drives Did me crazy sometimes. Did you create any but... different boundaries in the relationship? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it was an unspoken understanding. I didn't... That what? Like, how do you feel like moving forward, you're going to be in a better position? Um. Well, we uh, we have a great line of communication. Um. He's like a brother to me. Oh, my God. People are probably like, ew, rolling their eyes right now. But I love that bastard. I do. I really love him, and he's done a lot for me. I've done a lot for him. And um, you don't find friendships like that often. Yeah. It's super special. Like the what way do we people met. people not see? Because, okay, so here's another one of my takes. All right, let's dive a little deeper. No, like back in the Dizzle, okay? Back when in. Stassi, okay, <laughs> aging myself. OG, <laughs> OG VPR days? Like OG Stassi. Yeah, OG Stassi. Stassi hated him. Shout out to Stassi. I love you, Stassi. Ka Katie always hated him. Yeah. I use hate like very. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah. It was love hate. So, uh, I don't eh, know. Mostly hate. I yeah. Guess. So like. <laughs> And, you know, the the audience of Bravo always had something to say about it. It's like no one was like, Sandoval hearts, you know. Yeah. It wasn't the vibe. So to me, part of the success of Scandoval and why it was such a, you know, is because he was like 
we don't know why we don't like him. Like he's a good friend. He hasn't fucked up like on his girl. And I feel like people finally were like, you know what I mean? I feel like if it was someone likable that did this, like somebody that, (laughs) if it was someone that was liked, sorry, not likable, that was liked, then maybe the turn wouldn't be that crazy. But I think the people, he just got into things with people. And I was one of the people that for years was like, what do you guys want from Sandoval? Like, look at what a good friend he is. Like, look at what, yeah, he's a little annoying. So, so to me, that's part of the thing where I was like, people didn't like him. Yeah. And then, yeah, he was a polar. He's always been, I don't know if contra, wait, what's a, what's a a watered down word for controversial? Um, Polarizing. It's polarizing on the show, but he's entertaining. He's just so fucking Tom Sandoval. You know but what, what aren't people seeing in him? So that's my question that you are, that you're like, he's it, like, w- why were, aren't people getting aside from the cheating thing Yeah, that he's great? Why aren't people seeing that? If he's like a great friend. And- um, He is, he's a really good friend and he's so thoughtful and considerate. He like always remembers birthdays. He always gets gifts. Right, he gets you things. But he doesn't. He doesn't do it for self satisfaction or attention. Like I, I feel I got a little defensive because people kind of retroactively went back and just trashed his entire existence. Yeah. And I get it to some extent, but I think it went too far. It got dark, man. He went to a dark place. Yeah. I, I know. I'm not gonna campaign hugs for Sandoval again, but like, <laughs> dude, he went to a really dark place. And also yesterday was actually the, the birthday of um, one of his best friends and my close friend that passed away this year, Ali. So shout out to Ali. Um, it was his birthday yesterday. And uh, last time I hung out with him was at the Standard Hotel and meatpacking. Really? So I went over there yesterday and took a shot for him. Yeah, he's a and great Sheena dude. did too. That scene was a little weird. Yeah. The Sheena and Tom scene. <sighs> no, especially like when she's, first of all, that he came. Like, yeah. what do you think of the fact that he came to sir that night um i think it's great yeah a little exposure therapy <laughs> <laughs> we came with kyle chan yeah are you guys really friends with kyle yes chan? kyle chan's one He's of my more best than friends. just oh one yeah. of your best friends we, yeah i love kyle we just got back from southeast asia together Stop. yeah because we know him as like the you're a ju- everyone's a jewelry dude yeah but it, but no. he's actually your friend friend first jeweler second really yeah i love kyle chan he's a supreme elite human being wow yes um, like at bracelet. Sandoval's birthday that you left. Yeah. Did you leave and come back? I just wanted to show up, give him a hug, show Why? a Why? Because at that point you weren't. We were cool. Yeah. We were cool, but I still was taking space. You were. Okay. And I wanted to show some love for the girls DJ set. Was the party actually that lame? Like it was solid. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. And by the way, like, yeah, I know all those people. That's like it's like his band members and some other people. What? Because people were saying it's like not yeah. friends. Those are great so. human beings. No, you would think that he would ha- he could have like more of a fun party <laughs> if he wanted to. It wasn't a banger, but yeah. it was cool. Um, yeah, man. And what do you think of James showing up and thinking they could have like a talk about everything there. I thought it was um very mature of him. Of James. Yeah. What did you think? I thought that why would he think that he could have the conversation at, during his birthday party? I know. Honestly, it, oh, that, the timing that, seemed it off. It evolved really quick, but um you know, I think they get there. I don't know. I don't know. I I'm, I'm careful about how I phrase this. I don't know where Tom and and James are with their friendship, but But you and ja- at the point in the yeah. show, you're you're but he hated you last season. H- hates us. <laughs> <laughs> he, he literally threw a drink in your face. I, I mean, you weren't close last season. I don't know if the drink in the face was earned. He was upset. Yeah, I had clearly upset no, him. I'm not I, saying it was earned. I disrespected him. Well, yeah, that's the thing. At that point, you were pursuing supposedly a hookup vibe with his ex. But here's my question about James. I never was really, honestly. It was just like, yeah. So what was it? We just don't have any chemistry. You and Raquel. There was no. No, that was, was a bad a, kiss. It was just. Uh, yeah. By the way, I'm a very good kisser. I pride myself on that. It just. That was just. That was not. It was just not. So it. what was that? It was just awkward. I don't know. Forced by. No, it just. I don't know. Alcohol, I guess. So when in Rome, when in Rome, why not? Type of situation. But, what were, but people saying that it was like a decoy. It was not a decoy. Like you wouldn't have gone that far. Yeah, and, I, and if I, yeah, and if I knew what was going on while they were there, I certainly wouldn't have made out with her. So at that point, you had no idea. No, I knew that they had had an encounter. Oh, but you didn't. But I didn't know, know that they, they were still going. Yeah, no, it was wild. But okay, I want to ask about James. Yeah, James 
being this intense about what happened. Does that make, like, as a viewer, I'm trying to understand, like, is he, like, if I was Allie, yeah. I would be like, why do you care so much? I totally understand that perspective. I think he just, I think um, he just felt like violated, you know? You hooked up with my ex fiance, who you helped plan, you know, our engagement party for. Like, they had a very tight bond. But James, does he care about Raquel or does he care about Tom? I think he just feels disrespected by his actions. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's like, like he said, for him, it was the ultimate betrayal. Yeah, um, the ultimate. I mean, that's a little I, dramatic. I, I mean, maybe it's a little dramatic. Yeah. But like, he was hurt and uh, Tom was like a brother to him, you know? Because Tom, Tom was a good friend. I think another thing like, you know, that maybe I was trying to justify it is that Tom was a really good friend to James. Yeah. Like he when was. everyone hated James, because there was that time, Tom was like bringing him to DJ on toilet paper or whatever. Yeah, when he was down in the dumps, Tom was always an ally. Yeah, him and Ariana were both James allies. They, you, know, you guys say Ariana, you and Katie. How do you say it? Everyone, how does everyone say it? <laughs> <laughs> how say it. it. Wait, how you does say everyone it. but you say it? Do you say Ariana? Yeah, Ariana. Why? I thought her name is Ariana. I don't think so. Um, How does Sheena say it? I don't know. Should I think Ariana. Her? Should we FaceTime her? Wait, speaking of Sheena, um, <laughs> uh -oh. I was telling you before that you guys seem close this season. Well, I think um, I felt I felt like uh, safe to go chat with her. She, I didn't feel like an outcast around her. Right, because Katie, at yeah. this point, not so great. Ariana yeah. hates you. <laughs> yeah. Lala, Lala never was, was that into you. Yeah. No, me and Lala are tight. You're actually. good now? Yeah. Oh, good. She's one of my close friends. I don't see her a ton. She's so busy and she's a mom. And But like, I love Lala. I, I mean, feel like we're closer than Lala ever. Too. We're closer than ever now. I think. Oh, good. I think so. Lala? I wonder. <laughs> what if I she's know. like. I know. <laughs> you have... Lala. Ooh. We have we have like a good little inside rapport. Yeah. You know, we, che we check in with each other. She's hard on you, though. I know. She's a ball buster, but I like it. Yeah? Give Give me Lala. <laughs> Or give me death. And also, I mean, there was that scene that we have to talk about where Ariana, you kind of like, you're always kind of nice. And then it kind of comes out. Like yeah. when you told her that she's like acting like Queen B or. I mean, I know. I kind of felt bad because like. like what, I, did you say something about like ego? Yeah. I just felt like a little in that moment. And by the way, I'll, again, I'll say it. She did a pretty dang good job of navigating that whole very twisted situation. And um, like it just was this larger than life mania, but um, yeah, in the moment it felt a little like a uh, dictator esque. Like me, she was girl speaking, vibes? just speaking for the other group, and so I know. I anyways, yeah, it felt. But you took it back right away. You feel like you <laughs> you do that. You're like you say something, like you said it. And then you were like, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. But like you meant it at the moment. Even if it's warranted, justified, when I'm mean to someone, you feel I, feel, I feel rotten inside. It like, it pains me. Physically pains me to be But maybe sometimes people. it needs to come out of you. Yeah. And you need to say like what you think. I think I like spaz out like two to three times a year. Yeah. I but do. like try and maybe next step is like, don't take it back. Whoa. No, no take backs? <laughs> no take backs. I don't know if I could do it. Try. Okay. Um. Because then it like, no, I'm firm on my opinion, you know? Okay, I'm a little upset that the plants in here are fake. No take backs. <laughs> no take backs. It is not <laughs> my house. Okay. Um, Winter house. That oh. was an interesting. I know. You guys, what can we do that that filmed in 2012? Like, that's what we're going to. We need to. You mean it was part of it was it was life for you at the time? Yeah, I know. Um, by the way, the best reprieve of my freaking life. Yeah, I could. I you could really tell that was real for you. The like, thank God I could get out of LA. It was bliss. I don't yeah. use that word lightly. And then you were also desired. A, a little. I had like, felt. That I, thank you. That was the <laughs> least sexy I'd have ever felt in my entire life. I could imagine. I felt like a schmuck. I could imagine. I, I in my mind thought. You probably didn't think that you were gonna have that vibe. I, I, my, like my aura was gone. My Schwartz was your, lacking. What do they call it? Your mojo. My mojo was um. And then dismal. fucking Katie Floody. Floody liked you. Floody is one of. She's so fucking cool. Shout out to Floody. If I don't know if she'll ever see this, but um, I'm a huge fan. And but she, uh, we're why didn't really you ever friends. like really invest uh, in that? I don't know. It's just um, I don't know if we friend zoned each other, but it's always no, been very not each other. Well, not each other. 
What do you mean? Maybe you. Well, I don't know. I just, I just, I, I wasn't looking for love in that moment. Yeah. I just felt so not sexy. I felt like a, a putz. I don't yeah. know. I just felt, I just like, my God. And I don't keep crying about it, but I just felt like my life was falling apart. So and you, like, you didn't expect to hook up. I had no mojo. Yeah. But, um. But she must have brought some of it back. <laughs> oh, I was so flattered. Yeah. Obviously, Floody's like gorgeous. Yeah. She's, I, I, I've said this a million times, which for me, she has like, the essence of like a, a 90s supermodel yeah um, no she's very attractive she, she likes to throw in strung out in there <laughs> but a no strung out Vladdy's a gangster man she's so she's so savvy and smart and good at what she does but she also i love i love her um her humility and her 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 ability to be self-deprecating yeah but anyone with an accent is just better you know totally and cooler than we could ever be i know um, and we're going to see your little dating situation this season with Joe, right? A little bit. Yeah, we weren't dating, but we were just hanging out. She's a, a dear friend of mine, and um, I got a lot of respect uh, for her. And, uh, yeah. And what's this, What's your situation now? I'm just chilling. I don't not know. Dating? I'm not dating? I'm just hanging out. I'm not not dating? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm being coy. Uh, but I'm just chilling. It's like, I don't know if I'm going to have a 13 relationship. I feel like me and Katie are kind of doing the same thing. We're just kind of having fun yeah. hanging out. But but you're also 41. Katie's Whoa. Not. Why would you say that? Because <laughs> Katie. Take I it mean, back. No. <laughs> in LA, in city years, I'm no, like 34. First of all, you got a lot of compliments today. I did. Okay. You got to you bring and me back down. Actually, it's a compliment because like people need a reminder that you're 41. Who could t – did you do a big thing for your 40? No, I didn't do anything. Was um, it during the time? Very anticlimactic, yeah. Oh. Uh, um, I'm not a big birthday guy. No? I'll pass. You can have my birthday glory if you really? want it. Really? Yeah. Do you like birthdays? I mean, I appreciate some attention. Yeah. A little love. Any attention is – Yeah. I'm not like fly to Vegas, you know? Yeah. Or you should have a podcast. You like to ask questions back. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of I kind of dabble in Tom's – Um. I'm kind of his, I guess I'm a co-host oh, of sorts. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, everybody loves Sports Tom. Sports and Sandy is the rebrand of the Tom. Wait, speaking of podcasts, Rachel came out with a podcast. Do you call her Rachel or Raquel? I think her name's Rachel. So you re reference her as such? If I was to see her, which I have not seen her in a very long time. Yeah. But um, I, I guess I would say, hello, Rachel. Another iconic moment that is referenced in the Madame Webb promo you did was the beat Battered Wife. Maybe. My, it's my favorite. That was my. You said you you're not over it yet. Like, you're not fatigued by that moment. That's my moment. favorite, maybe my favorite episode. Um, maybe aside from our wedding, even though I know we're divorced now. The wedding's very sentimental and, um, and special to me. Um, but that's my favorite episode. Why? It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it I was literally blacked out for Wait, three days. Were you peeing, pooping, or just sitting on the toilet? I think I was just doing a little session. I, I was just pouting. For sure I was, the toilet was closed? I'm 90... <laughs> I don't think I was pooping. Yeah. I think I was just needed a breather from the cameras and everything. Sometimes when you're filming and you're wasted, you're falling apart. that apart. moment, you just know wasn't, like, set up. Wasn't, like, there was nothing. He literally just <laughs> opened the door. How did he kick the door open? <laughs> Why, With was one... it locked? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, and he's in, like, full drag or whatever. One of our cameramen, shout out to Jay. I think it was... Jason, who did the the, the pan there? Um, was that was pan. beautifully shot, yeah. and um, just that whole weekend, it was one of my, it was one of the best trips of my life. But I was a disaster, and I was an asshole too. Uh, Why to was Katie. he? Was was he? Was Tom the only person in your life that had that perspective? Um, that you were like the the wimp in the relationship, being like you know, getting steamrolled by right. Katie. Um, no, I had heard that before. Um, but uh, sometimes it felt that way, but it's not true. Yeah. Yeah. There's moments it felt like that. Um, yeah. But I don't want to. I don't want to speak ill on um, the relationship. You know. The Valley. Are you the making valley. any appearances on it? Can I say I have a few cameos in the Valley? You do? I know all of these people. You were supposed to be on the Valley. Yeah, I know. I mean, like technically. Yeah. You were supposed you, to be on the Valley. You know about this. Yeah. Um, that was kind of the direction our show was yeah. going, and then some. Does that, does that feel any type of way? Yeah. Um, no, I'm super happy that I, that I think it's I think it's going to be a success. Yeah. Um, and you and Jax now are like super we're, tight. We're super tight. Has uh, it been that way for the last few years or we, has it gotten more? Me and Jax. Oh, Ooh. bye. Bye. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> All right. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>
Next. <laughs> Time's up. Um, no, me and Jax have been good dear friends since I met him in 2009. I, we've never stopped being buddies. Oh, really? Yeah, he's one of my best friends, yeah. Huh. Uh, I get, it's really like, looking back at Vanderpump history. It's wild. It's wild, and then like, you know people hated people, but then you're like, wait, that's Katie hated him, but I don't know if you stopped talking to him, and like, you know, there were so many moments. So you were close all along. You never, no, but I feel like he, I feel like he has grouped you in with Sandoval. With, with the whole. Yeah. A little bit. Like I, I don't feel like he, yeah. We always, we, we've always had a separate friendship. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I think, I think that Jax and Tom are, are, are cool again. Do you guys care that he's opening a place? Does it feel like competition? No, I'm. I go there on Sundays and I karaoke Monday. Shout out! Oh, to it's Jackson's like open. Lab. It's working. It's so fun. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna be doing like crawls. Maybe start at Sir Tom Tom. We're gonna hit Jax's. Then maybe oh. Schwartz and Sandy's or vice. You know. Yeah. Damn. We're gonna do little crawls. You see a future of Jax coming back to your show? I mean, listen. I I personally think Jax is a great reality television right. star. I mean, he. I don't he was, think anybody would say like, differently. Him. Like pretty much everyone on our show, I honestly think I have no business being on reality <laughs> TV. But like they are, I think they're kind of iconic. They're so good at just being themselves. Yeah. Um, for better or for worse. But yeah. every, everyone on the show at some point has gone through like almost <laughs> unimaginable pain and shame, and 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 they've but they've been radically honest, and I respect everyone for just bearing their souls for all these years. I know it's literally our job, but like man, we've all been through it at this point. Yeah. I'm, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm singing a sad song. I'm just saying I'm grateful to be on the show. And it's, I love those fuckers. Those are my family. Do you see yourself ever stepping away willingly? <sighs> I just, the being thing, over it. It feels like I, I'm, I'm, so, we have, it's like a family too with like production, everyone yeah. behind the scenes. I love it. I feel like it still has a lot of life left. Am I, yeah. am I Delulu? <laughs> am I, de well, <laughs> Delulu is the Salulu. <laughs> I mean, listen. Oh, oh anyways. I would love to see it go on. I think it's got it's got gas left in the tank. Okay. We just have such a deep well of history together. Yeah. We're like, you know, there's always more. There's always more. It's a really good season too. There's a lot of funny moments. I hope people keep watching. No, of course we're gonna keep watching. Thank oh. you. Thank you for being here. This is thank lovely. you for my bracelet and my hat. He's not buying my love or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you for the compliments. You guys, I don't need to tell you to watch Vanderpump Rules because we're already watching. So nice to be here. Thank you.